You're watching Blue Lie of All Aces. <laughs> Yes, mga kalulers. Yeah, and dami ko na naman tagyawat. Hindi, acne. And behind me, just an update. Diba? Iba naman ngayon ang hitsura ng garden natin. And then, namatay dati yung alaga kong squash. Then, yeah, nabuhay na uli. Meron ako mga bagong tinan na seedlings. And yung papaya ko. And then, dyan, the dragon fruit is there as well. Gamit ko kasi ang laptop ko. So, this is the dragon fruit. Medyo behave naman sila. At talagang yung iba, nagugat na sila doon mismo sa stem. And then, yung nasa baba, may crack yun. Nag-heal na siya. Which, is, which indicates na healthy yung dragon fruit. Yun. I have my lemon. There was the lemon. I think it's a lemon. And then, uh, meron ako mga ilang dragon fruit dito na pinaugatan. Yon, kung nakikita ninyo, di ba? So, hanapan ko may request ang aking laptop. I have my tea here with me. And, queen. At pag-uusapan natin ang mga bagay-bagay. But, but, the reality of what is. And as you can see, I have a paper here. Na I hope you really pa rin. Dahil, um, meron lang akong napansin. And I have noticed this since last year pa. This is going to be based on my experience. Siyempre, it's against my word and how would they explain it. But um, I addressed the issue directly while I was in the cashier. Kanina. Kanina nangyari. Pero even before, may nangyari din. Malapit na grocery sa amin na madalas kong puntahan yung all day. So that is an all day muli, no? And then, um, when we transferred, malapit dito ang SM Bacoor. So, those are the two particular um, supermarkets that I'm going to mention based on my experience. So, I'm not saying anything against them, but this is just based on my experience. Whatever it is that will uh, be your interpretation of my message is that the most important thing is for us to be vigilant and for us to be assertive kung bakit ganito at bakit ganyan. So, let's get on with it. Napansin ko kasi, there has been um, on the news, up and down, uh, price hike, and then kung hindi magpa-price hike, uh, they will announce that uh, certain things has been overpriced and then we're going to give you a refund and then that's it. Certain time ng ganito. So, parang, in short, kung ako, I'm not I'm not a politician, I'm not um, an economist. Eh, kung iisipin mo from a layman's um, side, parang nakakaloko. Diba? Yung, um, I don't know if you'll be with me, but please bear with me. This is just based on my opinion and this is just based on my point of view. Siyempre, we both have, you may not be affected with what I'm going to say, pero most of the people probably who will be able to listen can relate to what I have experienced. So, I went to SM and I'm a frequent shopper in SM Bacoor. And that's what I can just say based on my experience. And I know that every month or every week when I go to the grocery, it's like most of the things that I buy, it's almost the same. It's just that it's a repetition of what I, I buy because that's what we often consume and that's our monthly consumption. So, just give an example, pero wala kasi ako, I could have taken a picture of it, but if you live somewhere or if you often go and shop, whether in all day um, or in um, any SM branches, Pwede kayong gumawa ng sarili niyong experiment so you can just observe. 
Pero ito kasi, hindi lang ito one time na, na, na observe ko. It is a frequent. So, parang sa akin, hindi ko na natiis. Sinabihan ko na yung supervisor mismo kanina. Unang-una, yung price ng, and I'm not sponsored, it's the Tang um, Sachet. So, yung Tang Sachet, um, last, I think last uh, March, ang price nun ay 17. So, it went up to 17.50 nung malapit ng mag May. Then, kanina, so, parang mga ganun ng price nun, 17.50, hindi na siya bumababa ng 17. Kanina, um, nakita ko, oh, 18 na pala. And this is why I fairly remember na 18 talaga ang presyo na nando doon. Kasi nga, tumatak sa isip ko na, okay, nagtaas pala siya ng 50, 18. So, nag-iisip ako, okay, shall I buy? At least, hindi ba pa rin wala pang 100. So, okay, bumili ako ng 5 different flavors. And then, isang na isang naalala ko lang din, um, when I, I went to the dry section, yung cereals, um, I was comparing, kasi pag namili ako, it's either the grams that I compare or the price. So, those are the two. Or, um, the taste of it, since familiar na ako ng mga taste na yun, um, um, am I going to put sugar still or uh, do we have to put fruits in it, yung mga ganun, the practical wise of it, when you wake up in the morning, na you have to put cereals and then the milk. So, um, bumili ako, uh, and I'm not expo sponsored, I'm going to mention the brands para tingnan na rin ninyo so that you can see it yourself when you visit all day and SM um, hypermarket or SM uh, grocery sa Baco or Cavite. Ang Coco Crunch na um, I think it was uh, 500 grams ay 211. So, isusulat ko rin dyan somewhere on this video kung ano yung mga binanggit ko ha. So, examples ang yun but yung iba kasi hindi ko na pinansin but it's just because those are my frequent consumptions. Eh, yun yung tandang-tanda natanda, ko na hindi, al, alam ko hindi ako magkakamali. Kah baguhin man nila doon, it's my word against whatever it is that they're going to do. So, tininan ko ngayon, and I was checking on the cashier. Ang price na na lumabas sa Nestle Coco Crunch, and it is 211.50. Ang linaw-linaw na nakalagay doon sa kanilang stante ay 211. Paano kung hindi matandaan? Kasi lahat yung puro whole number. So, I have a very good photographic memory when it comes to objects and especially when it comes to numbers. So, that's my special talent. Kaya, I can vouch to that. No, I did not have the picture of it. I could have. But next time, I'm going to do. Dahil I know... I'm just a small consumer na hindi nila bibigyan ng pansin. So, so, yung Coco Crunch na nandun dun sa Stanty is 211. Then, yung um, Tang na Juice, and then get this straight, it is Tang na 19 grams. Yung sachet na for 1 liter ay 1850. So, I, I called the attention of the cashier na bakit ganun, uh, siguro you should fix the one that you have on the display kasi it's written there 18 and then the Coco Crunch, it's written there 211. So, bakit when it comes here, 211.50 and 18.50? So, I'm not saying na ibabalik ko or whatever but the point is you should fix that kasi nakakaloko yun sa clickbait. Kasi you'll be thinking na ito lang yung babayaran mo. And then, when it comes to the, okay lang sana kung mas mababa ang price sa cashier. Pero, what is 50 cents? It's just a cheap amount of money. Pero, for 100 people, 50 cents is something. And I know that hindi lang naman 100 people ang nagpupunta sa grocery ng SM. Having it to be a well-known supermarket, ba? Parang ang, parang ang nagiging convenience store na rin siya, hindi lang siya open ng 24-7. So, yun yun. And then, sabi nung cashier, um, ah, sandali lang po, uh, i-inform ko yung supervisor. And if that so happened, na yung supervisor naglalakad at nagbibilang, siguro ng, ng cashier na open or whatever, um, 
tinaw- tinawag ko siya, ma'am, excuse me, tapos na po ba kayo sa ginagawa ninyo? Kasi sabi niya, she cannot be interrupted kasi nagbibilang siya. So, after noon, tumayo siya sa tabi ko, and then I told her, um, ma'am, pwede na po ba kayo ma-store po? Kasi, meron lang akong point na sasabihin. Bakit ang price ninyo sa shelf ay kagaya nitong tang 18, pagdating dito 1850. Etong Coco Crunch 211 pagdating dito 211.50. And ako kasi frequent buyer dito. So I know yung trending kung pataas siya at pataas ang price niyo. Ang hindi lang maganda, yung bakit merong 50 cents na increase when it comes to being punched at the cashier compared doon sa display. So hindi kasi maganda 'yon dahil um sana lahat tayo consumer and uh, yung yung supplier eh sana we should work hand in hand dahil syempre yung consumer pinagpagura naman nila yung yung pinambibili nila hindi naman yan yung something na nanakawin lang nila sa shelf di ba so at the end of the day it's the respect you respect the buyer as much as you wanted to respect the seller kasi nga Um, it should be a give and take relationship dahil kung walang bibili, wala rin naman nangyayari sa negosyo ninyo. So, yun yung point ko. What happened with all day? Sa all day naman, and I'm sure everybody can can vouch to this kung familiar kayong uh, bumili sa all day supermarket. Pansin na pansin ko, ang labo-labo ng kanilang uh, tag sa display. And I'm putting the, the I'm I'm giving or I'm tagging uh, DTI dito, and um, I hope that they be able to randomly visit yung mga supermarkets. Kasi ganito yung nagiging style. So all day, commonly, malabo ang kanilang mga price tag. And as you can see, and I have mentioned, na mat, mat, magaling yung aking memory pag may nakita kong isang bagay. So sinabi ko, bakit ang price ninyo dito, I think it was uh, it was an anchor butter. An anchor butter na um, nakalagay doon na price ay something about like I think it was 80, 86 86, 85 para mga ganun. 86 pesos and 85 centavos. Pagdating sa cashier, it was 87, 25. So a matter of a couple of cents. Pero it doesn't show uh, the honesty of the of, of selling the product why do you have to do that why do you have to make loko dun sa mga mamimili when in fact lahat na nga nag struggle para at least di ba makatikim pa rin ng, ng regular food na they enjoy regular um, breakfast that we, we enjoy with our family so yun ang aking uh, message na sana at least, di ba, magawa ng paraan. And yun lang naman ang aking video. Sana maging vigilant din kayo. And tingnan ninyo yung experience na, na experience ko. You try to check it yourself sa SM Bacoor and sa all day uh, supermarkets. And of course, you have the right to ask or inform yung manager nila na bakit ganito. May gawin man sila o wala, kung marami tayo magsasalita ng ganun, I believe na matatakot na rin sila na gawin iyan as their regular practice kasi panluloko yon. So, having said that, hanggang dito na lang po ang ating vlog. Siyempre, sana maging okay lahat. Dahil life is so short, life is for living and unreliable. Aces, you learn nonsense to useful things that you can apply on your daily life. So, thank you for watching.